Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. I just want to give a quick update to the Bitcoin Cash situation. Um, we've seen the Bitcoin Cash network successfully hard fork. Um, we've seen a good bounce in a lot of altcoins and I know there's still a lot of confusion around price action and how this all works. So a lot of people are still confused on how this $8 billion market cap can come out of nowhere. And I guess my answer to that is that the current price is still not an accurate representation of what one Bitcoin Cash coin is worth. We need the market to determine that over the next few days and market cap is derived from price times circulating supply and at the moment that a lot of supply of Bitcoin Cash is locked up as a lot of people move their Bitcoin into cold wallets and into um, off exchanges um, into safe storage so that they would receive their Bitcoin Cash and they're yet to move it out into the, the um, tradable world, I guess you can say. So we've got to wait and see until we get some um, some bigger volumes um, and for this to play out over the next few days to see if more people are going to sell or whether or not this is going to continue to gather support before we can get a real accurate representation of the current price. And I know um, on Via BTC in China, we've already seen the price jump from um, 1500 to 3000 so 100 Hundred percent increase in the past few hours, but Bitfinex has just um, started trading this pair, the Bitcoin Cash US Dollar pair, in the last half an hour. I know Kraken had an active pair straight away, but we've, we've got to wait for all exchanges and all wallets to issue the Bitcoin Cash before we start to get a real true idea of supply and demand and basic economics before we can get an accurate price representation for Bitcoin Cash. So. The other things I'll be looking at, I guess, um, the network stats. So a lot of the um, hashing power so far coming from that Chinese uh, mining pool via BTC. So you guys know that I'll be watching that hash rate. I'll be watching the difficulty to see if it's profitable for miners to um, mine Bitcoin Cash. And if it's profitable, they're going to go there if it makes them money. So let's see if people use the network for transactions and they collect those mining fees. All those little things are going to determine what it's worth. So Bitcoin Cash getting a lot of headlines today, um, trending on Reddit, and obviously it's going to be in the news. And I just hope it doesn't cause too much confusion for those new guys that are looking to enter the space. And now they're asking which Bitcoin is the real one. Okay, I, I want to see these um, all coins get mass adoption and the less confusion, the better. So they're the things I'll be looking at. So. A lot of the alts got a bit of a bounce today, as I said, and I don't think that's so much because of anything to do with the Bitcoin price. And I know a lot of people are still confused because a lot of altcoins are priced um, in terms of Bitcoin on exchanges. But um, the thing to really look at is the the dollar value, and I think a lot of people were just a bit nervous and on the sidelines. And now that this is out of the way, it's an excuse to jump back in, and we saw some big surges. Um, especially I was watching ad shares and a few others right on the news took off really strongly okay so maybe we get some positive momentum back in the market now that we've got this um, out of the way but we're still not out of the woods um, completely we, we still have to wait to see how many nodes are going to support um, Bitcoin Cash um, and I want to just take a look quickly at the Segwit2x part, which is still down the line, and we've got to wait to see if that's going to become activated. So at the moment, we've got 94.4% of miners signaling their intention to activate that 2x, um, the 2 megabyte block size increase um, in a few weeks' time. But we're right around that 95 threshold that we need. But you're going to see headlines again. Now that we've got 8 megabyte blocks in Bitcoin Cash, you're going to see those debates in the headlines again, and as I said, I just hope it doesn't cause too much confusion and we don't want to do any long-term damage by dividing the community. We, we want to see Bitcoin um, succeed and those two players can take the Bitcoin networks in the separate directions that they want. But let's see how this plays out. Those are the things I'll be keeping an eye on, okay? The, um, the trading volume, the difficulty, the hash rate, to see what sort of support that Bitcoin Cash Network is going to get. So I'm holding on to both of mine for now. If you're doing that, you're already in front from um, total total price of the two Bitcoins added together if you want to look at it that way. So let's see how this plays uh, plays out. Um, 
Thanks for tuning in. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, share it around, and as always, I'll do my best to keep you guys up to date with the latest. So thanks for tuning in, guys.